So I just wanted to go through how you will now move on to cut your liners. So here's my liner I've got. I've drawn on my um, background details using my stencil. So you can either place the stencil on and then draw around or you can place this kind of template area on and then draw around this section. So with liner, I'm just gonna quickly show you an old sample I have here. So this is one that I've just been practicing on using my different cutting liner tools I've got here. And as you can see, the areas in white are where I've cut away and the ink is not gonna go into these areas. So this is where we're gonna put our details. So if we look at this um, shape of this leaf I've got here, it's only the black areas and the outlines that are gonna be printed. All the white areas will not be printed. We've cut that section of liner away. If you can see up close, we've cut that away. And that's the area I'm gonna print. So what I've done to make it easier for myself to know what I'm cutting, I've got rid of, I've um, shaded this area and I know this is a section I'm gonna cut. So I've got a few different tools. I've got this tool here, which is um, a larger kind of more um, deeper tool, which can cut larger sections. And I've got this little one that's got a finer tip for details. So to start with, I am gonna cut away my outline. You don't need to do it all at once, you can just cut a section away at a time. So I've just cut away the outline. And what you need to be careful to do, like I did here, you don't want to cut away too much because this is when you can create gaps and it'll make your cutting quite flimsy. You don't want any kind of paint to go into this area. So I'm going to go all the way around the outline of my shape. And remember, this is my first layer. So you'll print your layer, um, your back layer, where you will just cover this entire thing in ink and then print that area. And then you're gonna add your layer of, your first layer of detail. So firstly, I'm just doing my outline. So I'm gonna go all the way around this shape. As I'm sure Miss has already told you, you're wanting to create quite a large shape because as you can see, cutting out all of this liner can take a while. So I've now got my basic outline. You can see some areas here I've not cut away, but that's fine. So as you can see now, I've used the cutting tool to cut all of this away. So I know it looks a bit messy, but none of that will get any ink on it, so it won't print. The only area that will print is this. And as you can see, there is quite a difference. This is a lot higher as the um, other areas of liner have been cut away. And then I've just made sure I've gone around the shape just to really clean it up and make sure it's a nice um, shape and there's no edges that I don't really like, as all this area will be now printed.